Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am in Sholo, Arizona at the Torreon Golf Resort. Uh, my brother has a, a, a condo here, and uh, or a cabin as he calls it. Uh, and uh, I have the DJI Air 2S, and uh, I just wanted to put this guy up and uh, give you a look around a little bit. This is kind of a cool uh, area, and there's a little double meaning to that cool. It's about 34 degrees right now, according to UAV forecast, so uh, just above uh, freezing. Uh, but we're going to put this drone up, and we're going to kind of give a look around. Maybe we can see a little bit of the golf course. Uh, I will definitely show you uh, my brother's uh, condo here, uh, the, the outside of it. And... Uh, yeah, let's just put the Air 2S uh, up in the air and just have a quick look around. Hey, okay, I know we're kind of looking into the sun here, but you should be able to see the little drone uh, take off there. We're ready to go. We're going to shoot in 4K 30 frames per second, uh, so we can do a little zooming if we want to. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, look through the safety menu here. Uh, we want it on bypass, and uh, the, uh, uh, the drone has already found its home point, but... Uh, Let's see, 33 meters. I'm going to crank that up a little bit. I don't know what obstacles we might see around here. So I put that up to 40 meters. That should be plenty. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's not asking for any kind of calibrations. Uh, battery is looking good, as I would have expected. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start recording. And, uh, and we'll take off. I'll do, uh, I'll do an automated takeoff uh, on the app here. So there's that little guy. Uh, let's see, we have an authorization zone. Yeah, no, we're uh, unlock this area, entering an authorization zone, it says. Yeah, I don't know. According to UAV forecast, we're fine. So I'm going to see what happens if we push unlock. Yeah, too many requests, it says. So whatever it is we're going to do, we're going to do without that request. So, uh, yeah, this is odd. Uh, anyway, uh, we're, we're in good shape here. So uh, let me turn the drone around here and give you a look. And there I am kind of standing under this little, uh, yeah, and it's not going to want to come in because of obstacle avoidance. So, so we won't bring the drone in any further. Let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and drop that uh, camera down and we'll do a quick droney here. And we're going to have to be quick because we're going to have to get above these trees. We're going to have to go high really fast. So reverse and up now. And I am hitting hard on the up stick there. And you're going to see it. <laughs> I pulled it really hard there to make sure we were above those, uh, above those pines. And they definitely look closer than they really are. Like that one looks really close there down on the bottom left. But trust me, I can see the drone. We're quite a ways above it. So anyway, let's come in here and let's take a look. We're going to bring the drone down as we come in. And, uh, and we're going to take a look at my, uh, at my younger brother's situation here. Focus on bringing the drone over the top of us. And we're going to come down here. This guy comes down pretty quick. I'm going to put it in cinema mode. So I'm kind of being extra careful here, guys. That, right, what you're looking at right there is the, uh, is the back door to his uh, condo. So we'll... Uh, We'll get as close to that as we can here. We're kind of underneath some trees. And that is uh, the back deck. I guess you'd call it a deck or a patio, I suppose, of, uh, of his condo. So that looks pretty good. And we're kind of, uh, we're kind of close to the trees here. Uh, but let's see if we can kind of get above it and go over the top of the roof here. I'm not gonna, I'm not sure how the drone is gonna take this, but we're gonna try it. We've got OA on. 
Let me see if I can get over the top here. And we'll get over on the other side if we can. It's, it's seeing all the, the drone is seeing all these trees and stuff, stuff and it's not liking it. So yeah, we got, uh, we got those trees there. It may be difficult to, uh, to do what I wanted to do here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can come down the, uh, down the other side. I probably could, but yeah, I'm going to walk around the other side. Okay. That's me standing next to my brother's, uh, minivan there. This is a situation where I wanted to have eyes on the drone. So we are going to come straight over here. And we'll come down and turn around and we'll give you a look at the front of the condo. You know, cool thing about DJI drones is they give you this kind of confidence to do this kind of stuff. So we're going to spin it around here. And we are right in the middle of the trees here, folks. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm being careful. So this is the front. So so what these are, they're kind of a duplex. So there's another mirror view on the other side there of, uh, of his condo. Uh, but uh, let me see if I can, let me back it up here so you can kind of get a bigger picture view. So I'm being very careful because there's a, there's a lot, of, uh, lot of trees and things out here. So. We're right next to a tree right now, as you can see. But there's, uh, so that's the view of the, uh, of the outside of his, uh, of his condo. And uh, that deck that you see out there, uh, I actually, uh, that's off to the left there, that's the bedroom that I've been staying in. That's pretty cool too. So let's come back forward again. And let's see if we can get the big view over the top. It's, uh, it's a little, uh, like I said, I'm going through, uh, going through the trees here to do this. So I'm a little, uh, it's a little bit nerve wracking for me. I'm not used, you FPV guys are used to this kind of close in flying. On a camera drone, not so much. So let's see if we can kind of go straight up here and it's it's seeing the uh, it's seeing the top of the uh, and I'm looking at the drone so we're good there let's drop that camera down and you're getting a look at the top of the condo going straight up in cinema mode okay we are going to uh, we're going to move over get over the top of this guy. And we're going to do that famous rotation move. You guys that do real estate uh, drone videos are probably laughing at me right now, but I, uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay, we're going to go into normal mode and this is all on the left stick. So I'm going to go up and to the right. Well, I screwed it up already, didn't I? Trying to do that rotation and I kind of missed it, but yeah, we're doing all right. And let's lift that camera up as we go and kind of give you a reveal of the neighborhood. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Torreon, the Torreon Golf Resort in Sholo, Arizona. So we'll just have a little look around here. Okay, let's kick that camera back up. And what I'm gonna try and do now is uh, take you over and show you where the clubhouse is at and, uh, and see if we can see some of the, uh, one of the, uh, my brother tells me it's the 18th hole and I think I'm pointed the right direction here. And you can see all these houses how they're kind of tucked into the trees here. Pretty darn cool. Yeah, aircraft authorization exit zone promptly. So yeah, see that's kind of weird because I don't I don't see that. 
when I look on UAV forecasts. So that is uh, that is that is kind of strange. Uh, I you know some of that stuff is the, is DJI's own. Yeah, there it says. So let's go into D. Let, I'm going to take a look at DJI's map. I look at UAV forecasts and it, it doesn't show it at all. So I'm going to go into the map here. And you look at the map and look at all this. Let's make the map full screen. And you can see where I was at there. Let's, uh, let's look and see what that is. Yeah, it's one of their ribbon zones that has nothing to do with anything except for uh, what DJI, where DJI says you can fly and you can't. Yeah, it's pretty weird. And anyway, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the clubhouse is right over there. So I don't know what it's going to do. I, I wonder what it would do if I, if I fly into it. I wonder if the drone just tries to land or what. Aircraft in authorization zone. Close to geo zones. Pay attention to aircraft's position to avoid return to home failure. Well, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to risk that. Uh, I'm starting to understand why people uh, why people want to fly Autel and other drones because you know we know we're not breaking any FAA regs here. So let's go the other way, and I won't be able to show you the clubhouse, I guess, but uh, maybe we can. Uh, we can look at some other parts of the resort here. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, here's here's another uh, another one of the golf uh, uh, fairways and greens here. So we'll look around at this a little bit. Like I said, I wanted to show you where the clubhouse was, but again, we're not going to be able to do that. So if my brother was here, he could tell you what fairway this was. <laughs> but the 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 golf part of it, the golf course is closed right now because obviously we're in winter, and uh, and it's getting getting uh, yeah. And you can see the green there is they've actually got it covered in uh, they've got it covered in plastic. So let's drop down here and let's get in close to this guy a little bit. Make sure we're between the trees. So that's the green right there, and they've got it all covered for winter. So, no golfing here for a while. Yeah, I better, uh, I better pick up. I'm getting a little choppiness on uh, FPV here, so we better pick it up. But yeah, this is just kind of a little look at the area for you. So you can kind of look around. Get some altitude here. Look at the hole. Some of the uh, the holes here. They're all among the trees. Yeah. Entering aircraft in warning zone. Fly with caution. I'll tell you, DJI in their warning zones that have absolutely nothing to do with uh, with FAA rules and regulations. It's awful frustrating. But you know, I pay attention when it says that because if you what you don't want to do is get your drone in one of those zones and then it auto lands and you you don't have control of it and there's there's nothing you can do. That would be really frustrating to lose a drone in a situation like that, to have the drone land in a tree or on somebody's house or something like that. I wonder if anybody thinks of uh, at DJI thinks of what the issues that could cause. But uh, at any rate. I do not know what fairway this is here or what green this is here, but they have them all covered for winter. Protect those greens and the sand traps there. Okay, we are down to about 28% uh, battery. Let's run up this fairway here and then we'll bring this guy home. Let's just take a quick run up the fairway. And again, the resort is closed, you know, the golf course is closed for the winter right now. Yeah, and I'm getting a little bit of that break up on FPV because I've got the drone so low. Yep, I'm going to, we're going to stop right there. I'm going to do a return to home 
and the drone should rise to its return to home height that we had set pretty high. And let's bring it back and let's see if it'll land on the sidewalk here where we took off. I'm feeling bad that I couldn't show you the clubhouse and so forth that I that I wanted to show you before. Uh, but uh, but that's the way it goes. So now some of these are there. There's individual houses in this resort area, too. So you can build a house up here. It's not all just these duplexes. They just have they have a number of different uh, ways you can enjoy uh, the resort. But this is the one that my brother chose to uh, take advantage of, and I can tell you, it is a beautiful, uh, it is a beautiful condo. There we are down there. Well, this isn't exactly what I wanted to show you today, but uh, pretty close. And look at that; the drone's going to pretty much hit right where it took off if it comes straight down. A little bit off. It's kind of maybe on the edge of the sidewalk. We'll see when it gets down here. Yeah, no, really? Pretty darn good, huh? I'm going to go stand in front of it. They build us some pretty good stuff. Uh, it is, the, the, the geo zones are sure frustrating. I understand people's frustration. And I should have gone ahead and just... Uh, got the uh, the DJI uh, release you know you can go through their situation and get that release but why should you have to is the is what I is the thing so yeah there might be an Autel uh, Evo light in my future and there's that drone right there so uh, yeah that was perfect okay let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion Hey, okay, uh, the DJI Air 2S at the Torreon Golf Resort in Sholo, Arizona. So I hope you enjoyed that look around. Uh, I really would have liked to have gone the other way and showed you the clubhouse and so forth, but uh, because I didn't get approval through DJI's uh, system in the app, it, it, was gonna, it wasn't going to let me do that, which is just too bad because there's, uh, there's nothing on the sectional chart or anything that Keep you would keep you from flying there. It's uh, you know just DJI's map. However, it is what it is, and I should have done that beforehand, and I didn't. But that eh, you whatever's fair. We still had a good flight. Looked around and got to show you some of the uh, some of the other uh, fairways and some of the other greens. And of course, the course itself is shut down for winter. Uh, but you know we took a look at my brother's uh, condo and so forth. I don't know. I think this is a pretty cool area, and it, I'm sure it's even more cool in the summertime when things are uh, even more green and there's more activity. But uh, in any case, I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a little something. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you uh, enjoy this uh, kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.